Hello folks, Prasad Omla here. In this video, I'll show you how to create a self-signed certificate using uh, OpenSSL and uh, add it to your uh, elastic load balancer on uh, AWS cloud. These are the steps we'll be following today. First, we'll generate a private key using OpenSSL and uh, we'll be generating a self-signed certificate using OpenSSL and uh, we'll be adding our new uh, self-signed certificate to AWS uh, IAM that is Identity and Access Management using AWS CLI. And uh, finally, we'll be uh, creating a load balancer and assign the certificate to access the sample website hosted on uh, EC2 instance using SSL. And uh, this is a small pictorial representation of what we'll be uh, doing today. So let's get started with the process. Here I'm logged into my uh, AWS console and I have an EC2 uh, instance and I'm calling it as um, my command instance as I'll be running all my uh, AWS CLI commands uh, in this instance. So this is just a basic uh, instance uh, launched using uh, Amazon Linux AMI and uh, I have Apache installed using uh, bootstrap scripts and I have allowed uh, HTTP and uh, SSH ports using uh, security groups so that I can uh, SSH into the console and uh, access a sample website hosted on Apache. And uh, OpenSSL is already included in this uh, AMI. So if you don't have OpenSSL installed, uh, please install it using M or uh, apt or um, rpm depending on which uh, linux flavor you're using so if you want to know how to launch uh, an ec2 uh, instance on aws uh, please uh, watch my uh, video i'll leave the link in the description so let me ssh into my uh, ec2 instance okay this is my uh, ec2 instance now i'll uh, first create my uh, private key using OpenSSL. I have posted all the commands I'll be uh, using in this video on my blog. I'll leave the link in the description if you want to copy those um, uh, commands. So I'll use OpenSSL and then uh, Gen ISA and then the length and I'll export that into my uh, private key dot PEM. So this will create my uh, private key. Next we need to generate a self-signed certificate using uh, rec flag so i'll do uh, open ssl and then rec hyphen new and then my certificate type that is uh, xy09 and then hyphen nodes which means i'm not using any password uh, for my uh, private key and then the algorithm and then the expiry i'll just uh, give it as uh, one year that is 365 days Next, you need to provide uh, your private key, that is uh, hyphen key, and then my uh, private key name, that is uh, my private key dot pem. And then you need to provide uh, output format, that is uh, out form, and then my output format would be uh, pem, and then your output file. So that is uh, hyphen out. I'll just call my certificate dot pem so it'll ask you some uh, additional information regarding the certificate like country location domain and so on so let me provide that information the country i'll give it as australia and then the province the city and then organization name i'll just call it my company and then organizational unit I'll just call it as my org and then you need to provide a domain name so I'll just call it as um, store.amazonaws.com um, because I'll be using this with my uh, elastic load balancer next you need to provide an email address I'll just give my email address Okay, now our uh, private key and uh, certificate files are created here, as you can see. As of now, uh, AWS accepts only uh, PEM format uh, certificates. So please let me know in the comments if, if any other formats are uh, accepted as well. Next, we need to upload uh, the new uh, self-signed certificate uh, to IAM. So that is Identity and Access Management on AWS. So where all our um, server certificates are stored. Uh, AWS also has a separate uh, service called uh, Certificate Manager where you can uh, request for SSL certificates 
and uh, manage all your um, existing certificates as well using uh, certificate manager console i'm not covering that part as part of this uh, video maybe i'll do a separate uh, video on aws uh, certificate manager later so let's upload our certificate and i'll be using aws cli to upload our certificate and uh, cli is already uh, configured on this uh, ec2 instance with my uh, access key and uh, secret access key and the default region is set to asia pacific uh, sydney so to upload the certificate we'll be using aws uh, iam namespace that is aws space iam and then uh, upload server certificate and then you need to provide a name for your certificate that is hyphen hyphen server certificate name i'll just call it uh, my certificate and then you need to provide the certificate body that is nothing but your um, certificate file that is hyphen hyphen certificate hyphen body and then you need to provide it uh, in this format file colon slash slash and then your certificate file name that is uh, my certificate dot uh, pem next you need to provide your private key as well that is hyphen hyphen private key and then the same format that is file colon slash slash my private key dot pem so once the certificate is uploaded you will get a json output showing the details of your uploaded certificate like your um, certificate id certificate name your expiration date and your arn and uh, upload date so you can use this uh, arn uh, if you are creating your load balancer using aws cli or uh, aws sdk so in this demo we'll be using aws uh, management console to create our uh, load balancer so let's get back to our uh, aws management console and then under your uh, load balancer section click on load balancers as of now i don't have any uh, load balancer so i'll just go ahead and create load balancer and i'll select a uh, classic load balancer if you want a detailed video on um, creating and configuring uh, elb you can watch my uh, video on that i'll leave the link in the description so i'll go ahead with uh, classic load balancer and click continue i'll name my load balancer as uh, my elb and i'll leave uh, my default vpc and by default we have http uh, rule already added here i will add another rule for our uh, https traffic so i'll just select the protocol as https and then the load balancer port would be 443 but we'll be using uh, the same uh, default apache port uh, for our uh, https traffic as well normally in your uh, production environments uh, you should enable ssl for both uh, client to elb and uh, elb to uh, backend communications but for this uh, demo i'll just use uh, ssl for uh, client to elb communication at this stage you can also restrict uh, http communication by deleting this uh, default http uh, rule on elb so if you do so users will get an error message so let's uh, delete this uh, http rule and see uh, what happens so now our elb accepts only uh, https traffic and it will throw an error uh, if uh, the end user uh, access using um, http and then click on uh, assign security groups here i'll add uh, https security group because we are allowing only https traffic to this uh, elb and then click on uh, configure security settings here we have uh, three options to select uh, our certificate so you can choose uh, an existing certificate either from uh, aws certificate manager or from uh, iam in our case it will be uh, iam as we have uploaded our uh, certificate to iam so you also have an option to upload the certificate uh, directly from here so you can copy your uh, private key and uh, public key to this page and then you can upload your uh, certificate directly so in our case it would be the second option choose an existing certificate from uh, aws identity and access management and then your certificate will be listed here in the drop down if you have uploaded uh, successfully so my certificate name is uh, my certificate and you can leave rest of the settings as is and then click on uh, configure health check so here our uh, ping protocol would be http and the ping port would be uh, port 80 on which our apache is uh, listening and then we have our uh, ping path that is our default um, html page which we have created and i'll just modify this uh, response timeouts i'll just uh, put the interval as um, five seconds and i'll put unhealthy threshold as two 
unhealthy threshold as two and then click on add ec2 instances so here i'll add my uh, ec2 instance to the load balancer and then uh, click on add tags i don't want to add any tags at this stage so click on review and create so on this page you can review your load balancer settings and then click on create now the load balancer is uh, successfully created so click on close and then you can view your uh, load balancer here so it will take couple of minutes for our uh, elb to mark our uh, instance as in service so once the instance is in uh, service we can access our uh, web page using uh, the elb uh, dns name so which is uh, this one so i'll just give couple of minutes for our instance to be in service okay now our uh, instance is in service so we can access the dns of our elb now using https and then our uh, elb dns name slash index.html so we'll get a warning as we are using a self-signed certificate as it is uh, not trusted uh, by our browser so you can ignore that and uh, continue so click on advanced here and then add exception so at this stage you can view your uh, certificate so this is the certificate which we have uh, created so you can accept this certificate and then confirm security exception and then you can access the web page uh, hosted on apache so now let's uh, try and access it uh, using http protocol so it will basically uh, time out because we didn't allow any http uh, traffic on our uh, elb so it will wait for the timeout and it will uh, throw an error so that's it guys uh, this is how you uh, create a self signed certificate and uh, use it for your uh, elastic load balancer on aws cloud hope you found this uh, video helpful uh, please hit that uh, like button down below if you did and uh, subscribe to my channel for more uh, videos on cloud computing and um, fusion middleware and that's it for today have a nice day and uh, see you in the next one